up guys? Out here today by myself. I'm on this little pond. You've seen us fish a couple times before. The fishing hasn't been good here recently. There's been a lot of people here, so it's been a little more pressured than normal. Barometric pressure right now is perfect for bass fishing though. Some people say it's just a myth, whatever. I believe it. If the fish, if the pressure is between like 29.5 and 30.5, that's when the bass are more likely to feed. Today it's around 29.99. So it should be a good day. They should be feeding a little hungry. Starting the day off with a natural shed, lipless crankbait. And hopefully pull a couple good ones out of here today. It's like uh, 4.05 right now. So we got about four hours roughly to fish, maybe a little bit longer than that. So we got some time to find some fish today. There he is, guys. Good one. Good fish. What a, oh, came off right at the boat. It's okay, though. It's okay. That fish was a little shallow. Hey, decent fish. Glad we're getting a little bite going. There he is, another fish. Up shallow. Another one came off at the boat. What is going on with that? I'm missing hook set after hook set or something. They're definitely shallow though. There he is. Another fish, fellas. Skinny bass. Right back down. See if we can pick up another one. Could happen. Oh, there he is. Oh, boys. This could be a good one right here. Oh, it's, just, it's not a good one. Oh, he was just coming at me sideways. That was crazy. Another bass, though. There he is, guys. Got him again. Oh, that's a pickerel right there, fellas. Wow. Acrobatics. There we go. Definitely after you catch a fish like that, you want to check your line because, uh, Teeth are pretty sharp. You don't want them to have nicked it in any way to where you can miss a fish on your next hook set. And break off. There he is. Right by the boat. On the lipless yet again. Oh, that hurt. Mm. Pour my finger up with that hook. There he is. A little bit better one. A little nice one pounder, one and a half pounder. Back she goes. There he is. Oh yeah, guys, please stay pinned. Actually, it might not be that good, but it is a fish. All right, well, the GoPro wanted to die when I set the hook. That is a nice quality fish. Okay, dude. Going right back down to where she, where she came from. There she goes. That was just a good, nice two and a half, close to three pound fish. And there's another one. There we go. Finally getting on a couple better ones. Choke to the lipless too. There it is. 
Another nice fish. And here she goes. Just like that. Maybe there's another one over there. Waiting on me. That would be sweet. There's another one. Oh yeah, this one seems a little bit better too. Oh yeah. I'm gonna flip him. Oh! That's a good four pounder right there. Close to it. Checking the line. That's uh, three really solid fish from the same little area. My thumb is absolutely shredded right now. All right, we'll update. Gus is making the trip out here. His golf tournament is over. And he is coming out here to try to get on a pig today. I am going to do my best to put him on his PB. That's what we need to do today. I'm going to let him work the motor. He's not going to want to, but there he is again. Another one, boys. This could be a better one. Oh, another giant pickerel. Let's get a little phone shot of this guy. Look at that, boys. Just a nice, giant pickerel right there. Really don't want to mess with him too much. It's a nice pickerel, though. I'm not sure what citation is. This could be close, but it's definitely a decent-sized fish. I'm going to try to get him unhooked and get him back on his way. All right, there he is, boys. Go putting him back. There he goes. Whew. Boys, I'm having a, as soon as, it, oh my goodness, I got lit up, boys, as soon as it hit the water. Now she's gonna swim sideways the rest of the way, but it might wake up the bass, give him a good wake up call. Oh, look, there was a swirl right there, so maybe, just maybe. But I'm having a great old time out here today. All right, guys, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna um cut the GoPro and go pick up Gus, and I'll let him throw on the chesty whenever he gets out here. But we're gonna leave these fish biting over here so that Maybe a nice big one will bite for him. Do you know why weathermen are called weathermen? Paul Lemon joke there for you. For everybody who knows of him, which is pretty much everybody in this earth because he talks to every single person he comes in contact with and tells him his whole life story. Boogie Wonderland. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Dance. Oh, can't even get this rattle trap out the water. Nice. Finally got out here and caught one. I don't even care if this is my only fish of the day, just the fact that I caught one, I'm happy with. I can't get it out of the slip, well, there we go. The fact that we caught one, and he's not even, he's not a bad one either. He's a decent sized bass. He does have a little bit of scarring on his left side though. A little football to end the day, and the only one of the day. Nice to catch one at least. It's been a grind for that one fish. And I just wiped my hands on my good golf. I'm a good golf clothes. Cast it back where you saw them. They've been pulled up together. Where I don't even know. Somewhere out in the middle. I'm getting too excited. I gotta calm down. Bro. And that's what I. Oh my gosh. Never mind. Forget what I said. How is this going to work? We don't know, but... Thanks, baby. Thanks, boys. Thanks, nice dog. Put them on the scale, bud. Alright, give me the scale. I have it. This is, this, this is so weird. Because we've never in our lives been this calm. This is just strange to even. Oh, oh, oh. Six ten boys. Six ten. Six ten. Another giant. <laughs> back to back days. Get a couple pictures. Okay. All right. Back down she goes. Beautiful six pound one ounce bass. <laughs> Slap it out. 
Uh, this week's off. Awesome. That's okay. You have the keys? For today's video coming from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, it says, Don't let anyone look down on you because of your youth, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity.